The School of Engineering at Asia Pacific University, Malaysia is one of the fastest growing schools and is gaining popularity among school leavers. However, there is very little attention given to the life as an engineering student, the experience of ups and downs of the students who are spending their period of study in the engineering environment. Social life um, almost inexistent. Like you have that uh, what's the perspective, like my class of 45 students, there's only me and my friends, like a girl. Their expectation is that I'm being a girl, I won't be able to like do the experiments, or even I won't be able to lift something. So okay, should I help you? Oh, how did you do this? You find that amazement. So when I answer, you see that surprise. Oh wow, she knows. Oh, everyone just look at me in a very weird way. Today's engineering professions are continuously experiencing major changes in knowledge, equipment, and tools. Students who pursue engineering studies tend to be highly academically oriented. However, majority of society portrayed engineering students as nerds, geeks, social awkwardness, and do not have social life. All of them are like into their laptops and nothing else. The only thing they do is study, study, study. They don't have a life. Guys don't have a bath. And they don't know how to party. I can never forget what I said to my best friend at the time. When I told, when, what she said to me when I told her I was interested in going into engineering. She looked me in the eye and said, but Christine, why would you want to do that? Engineering is for guys. Besides, you're so creative. Why would you want to do something so boring? Common stereotype not only in society, but also in the relationship and study environment. How do they embrace this? Here are some of their stories. Hello, I am Alzhar. I'm from France and Mauritius. And I'm 22 years old. I'm currently studying electrical electronic engineering in APU. My name is Hasna Shamim Banu Mahulal. I'm from Mauritius <laughs> and I'm actually a telecom navigation engineering student. My name is Krishnan. I'm from Malaysia, state of Malacca. I'm currently studying Masters of Philosophy in Engineering. My name is Mariam. I'm 23 years old from Djibouti. I'm doing telecommunication engineering. My name is Akshay Ramrika. I am from Mauritius. I am studying telecommunication engineering and I am 23. Why I choose engineering for my study is that because I I like to create things with my hands. I want to build things. I want to repair things. It was something I always wanted to do actually. Uh, my, father is an my father is an engineer. So he's a bit of a role model also. So looking at him and his work, then I got interested in physics. And it was quite easy for me to learn. So then the only option I had was engineering because I didn't want to become a doctor. Definitely not. <laughs> Uh, I chose engineering as my major study because I like to deal uh, with the mathematics, physics stuff. And I like understanding things better than theory. Okay, during uh, okay, first thing is that I hate biology. So during my high school time, instead of taking biology, I took IT. Then later on, I had interest. Uh, I developed interest in my engineering side. So that's why I took engineering with uh, IT. So that's why it's electronics and IT. The choice was made mostly by my parents and secondly uh, uh, they, they look for a professional uh, course, so degree. So once you have a degree, especially in a small island from, from where I come from, it's important for you to have a degree. 
APU engineering course, I found it very interesting. It is like it englobes everything that you will learn in other universities you will find here in APU. And the, lec the lecturers are very intelligent. Some of them has a lot of experience in the industries and but they have come to the academic side to, to share the to share the their knowledge their experience. The modules the modules also is it's not bulky, it's not difficult, it's not easy also. It's good if like you work every day, you will be able to achieve it. It has been changing, I can say, for a start. First, when I first came in here, I was very disappointed about the programming, how the facilities were, especially engineering. Um, there was no, there was a lack of equipment, I should say. This, uh, the, the mechanical lab was inexistent, robotics lab was inexistent. They had a microwave lab, which was not much of a big deal. Some equipment were not even functioning. But uh, three years. Now, uh, they have improved, I'm not saying they haven't improved, but uh, I still feel that we, we lack and we, we don't have the freedom of using what we want to use. We, don't, we are not getting value for, for money in a certain sense of, of this aspect. So, yeah, I, I don't feel completely satisfied. With the programming, with the program, uh, especially my program. The modules are quite interesting. Even I think they need more practical sessions, definitely, because like even last time, last week actually, we had a practical session in the power lab. So then many of my friends they didn't know how to connect because they didn't do the basic. It's just okay, you have to do this. Maybe a bit more of a practical, practical session for the maybe connection, showing the basic because not everyone knows actually how to do it. But even the lectures, like I told you, like the different backgrounds and accent, that's the difficult part. But that was just fine. The lectures are really helpful. I found it very easy. I mean, very helpful lecturers and all the time um, ready for any incoming problem from the student and then can deal with it and the, for the modules are uh, organized well um, for especially for my intake not that very crowded every semester is maximum five to four modules so. Hi, I am Dr. Satish uh, from the School of Engineering uh, I am the program leader for Telecommunication Engineering and as well as a Fanile project manager for the all programs of the school. I have been like uh, teaching in engineering is like around 15 years uh, but in APU is around like 6 years. Today's engineering profession is highly professional and I think the world is uh, because of engineers. As long as education is considered, education doesn't have an end because like everyone have to uh, get educated. So as far as engineers is considered, uh, day by day the uh, due to the technical growth and the technological growth, uh, definitely the opportunities for engineers are always there uh, yeah, and it is sustained, it cannot uh, diminish. The problems that I might uh, face would be yeah, getting a job, getting employed. This, this is the main, um, the main goal, right? You do a degree, professional degree especially, you get, a, you get a job. So this would, would be problematic, first of all. And some students, they would like to work in Malaysia because they're doing this uh, course uh, in this country. This is also a big issue because they, they would say that going back to their country they don't have the opportunities, but uh, since uh, speaking about myself, I would say uh, getting a job would be difficult because uh, back, because I'm planning to go back and back in my country, it is very challenging. So you have to be very good at what you do, and you need contacts. So, this year, even the previous years, I think it was maybe the different lectures 
like you have some lecturers that actually come from different backgrounds, so their accent is different, their way of explaining is different, so you have to really cope with everything. Um, first thing is, as I mentioned, is dealing with the uh, complex engineering problems, and sometimes it's higher level of language programming, and, and also uh, connection of the circuit. Maybe it be it become uh, maybe sometimes being hard. There is uh, the lecturers. The program is built for us to adapt, but still I found it difficult to adapt. And especially when you're in a foreign country, away from home, away from your family, yeah, this is a uh, challenge. Engineering basically attending the class. Um, following what the lecturer says and if you have any doubt the lecturer will help of course and I, I'm, I'm doing uh, I'm dealing with this three things so I didn't face any problems until now the expectation is that I'm being a girl I won't be able to like do the experiments or even I won't be able to lift something so okay should I help you oh how did you do this do you find that amazement or oh, even when I answer questions the fact I actually have a engineering background in a way so I know many stuff in the class so when I answer you see that surprise oh wow she knows oh everyone will just look at me in a very weird way in a way <laughs> we can say so then it gets quite weird even the lecturers sometimes they say okay the girls just me and my friend, there's no girls. <laughs> Generally, it's quite true for the not, not having a good social life, but that depends on the person. Uh, yeah, I would say most of it is true. For me, it's definitely true. I can relate to that. I don't think that. Uh, engineers can be stereotype or anything like that. It, it's like it depends how people put, how to say, think of the engineering people sometimes. Because I've seen some people say that you know the engineering students would like to mix with other course index. Perhaps maybe that people themselves has issues on how to say interacting with other people. So yeah. And oh, I think like. Compared to my friends, who actually does, no offense, <laughs> so my friends who actually are in business or like even doing those, uh, not, okay, maybe IT too, I find that I actually have a bit more knowledge than them concerning like the things. Engineering is nothing to worry about, it is kind of any field that anyone can do it. And you have to, you, you just need to organize your time. I mean, um, deal with your time properly and follow it, and that's it. Um, so yeah, social life um, almost inexistent. But uh, of course, in your class with your classmate, you have a little bit of uh, interactions if you want, and group projects will help you to socialize a little bit. But time for other activities is limited, especially fitness and uh, 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 going out, for example, it's quite limited as an engineering student and for me especially. No, I'm an engineering student, even though like it's a bit different, but just that I live my life normally. I go out on weekends, I go out even on weekdays, I go out, socialize with people, play games, I just don't study every time. Maybe in time of exams, yeah. Really, you need just like you should have at least an idea of like what do you want to do. Like for example, the sort of the semester that maybe you won't have a lot to study, so you can maybe relax a bit more, go out and everything. But when you know the tests are approaching and you have to actually focus, so then you, you should know that okay, fine, I'll need so much time for studies and then I can go out. I just put a time limit. Like for example, I start revising on come like six weeks of my lectures. Then I'll just say, okay, every week I'll do two to three hours of this chapter or this module. So then as long as I finish it, I'm okay. I'll see how.
how I'll do it, but at least in a week I'll do finish it. Engineers, if you look at it, uh, they have challenges of course. Uh, unless otherwise they can put more effort with respect to uh, physics and chemistry. I know that this, the base of uh, engineering is uh, physics and mathematics. So only if uh, those are strong enough, they can go ahead with as an engineer. Okay, But uh, I do agree like engineers don't have a social life, but, uh, but to an extent they do have a social life. Okay, they do have family, they do have friends. Uh, it's only like commitment towards uh, the society uh, in, in bringing up the best solution to a problem. Okay, but dedication is important, commitment is important, but at the same time, yes, social life is also there, but may not be to that extent like how a non professional is. Non professional doesn't have a, a, a moral or ethics or commitment towards a society as a professional son. Mostly, I will, I will go and try to uh, complete these projects, and of course, they are business based, so try to set, it, set, it, set them up and see that's how it's going to be. Then, after, afterwards, probably in a few years, going for master studies. But for the immediate future, I would like to complete some projects, personal projects, and taking care of my parents. Of yeah, that one still it is like uh, how to say still in plan. Now it's because I'm still in my first semester of my masters. So once it comes to the second ending of sem second semester, I think I will plan that six months on deciding what is my next step towards completing after completing my masters. I thought of it. I'm gonna definitely work. Um, I even like even internship. I was planning to do it there. Like back in my home country, in, in, like in the place where my father used to. I'm planning to to have one more one one year experience in Malaysia before I go back to my country, and after that, I have plan to do in my country. Hope that it will be success. Keep working hard. Don't try to uh, try to find the easy way or. Don't think about the money or something right away when you're going to start. Just work hard, study, and have discipline. Discipline is very important in, a, in any course. So probably when you finish your high school, you work on your discipline, daily life, uh, that's a good start. So then, then it's up to the person how he wants to uh, live and how he wants to uh, structure his life. So yeah, that's know what is your field of interest to be don't get pressured by saying oh this guy is doing this injury maybe I should follow him don't go along with the trend see what you are interested in and go ahead with that if you're interested in doing engineering okay go ahead and doing engineering and then later on you look into it when you're doing engineering you decide oh robotics sounds cool or maybe uh, this telecommunication sounds good and then there's a new APU upcoming course which is the petroleum maybe that is also what something that is very upcoming and maybe you're interested that in that as well so you can join that as well so it it depends on your interest just never go with what the community thinks or the cost think about what you want to do don't trust whatever people say to you you have to trust yourself uh, test yourself and experience by yourself everything and don't hear what ever people saying to you. Actually I'll just tell them if they like it definitely go for it. Because when you like it you definitely enjoy it. That's one thing I've learned like in engineering it's definitely fun. Because you get to understand how things work and it definitely increases your concept of like the usual things that in life and everything. Like even your phone you actually know how you get the call and everything so 